I usually wake up at 6 a.m. and hit the gym immediately after that. This guy is not me. Okay, who am I getting? I don't, I don't even work out. I usually wake up at 7 a.m., sit on my phone for 50 minutes, and then get ready for work, which starts at 8 a.m. and I work until 5 p.m. The first thing I do is I check my email and my schedule for a day, just to make sure there isn't anything critical I would need to do. I then hop on Jira and check priorities of my tasks and make sure I know what's my work for a day. If I have any code reviews, I usually go through those first before starting with anything else so that other developers can move forward with their code changes. Honestly, some code reviews can take hours to go through depending on how many changes there are. It is important for me to understand what the changes are and how they impact the overall software before I actually approve them. We also have stand-up meetings in the morning that are usually pretty short. During these meetings, we discuss on what we have worked on and what we will be working on for the day. I also use it as a time to ask some questions if I'm stuck on something. Usually around 10 a.m., I have breakfast with my wife if she's at home, and then I continue with my work. Today, I got really lucky and my wife made us breakfast. She's amazing. Whereas usually I would have just some toast, with butter or something like that. Next up, I continue working on my Jira tasks. Unfortunately, I can't discuss a lot of details about the work I'm currently doing due to the nature of my job, but I'll try to show you as much as I can. So today I'm working with an STM32 nuclear board that runs a free RTOS operating system. And today I'm using it to test out some communication code via USB for actual prototype board. It's very common for embedded software engineers to use an oscilloscope or a signal generator to help debug their code. Today, I'm using the oscilloscope to make sure that data sent via peripherals is correct and works in general. There are also cases when we would use a signal generator on these development boards to simulate signals from sensors that we might use. Because the embedded software engineers work with the hardware and the software, it is important for them to understand both aspects of the development phase. So they would need to know about how to read electrical schematics but also how to write the software, how to write clean code and do all of that and make sure that all the electrical components work properly with the software. Today, I'm actually getting my second COVID shot. So thankfully my employer lets us take some time off for doctor's appointments, which is great. After that, I just keep uh, working on my code and other tasks that I might have. One of my code reviews got approved. So now it was time for me to go ahead and merge this code from the branch to the trunk. Around two and 3 p.m., I take another 15 minute break to take my dog out for a walk. Usually during that 15 minute break, I still keep thinking about work. I think about the stuff that I've been working on. If I'm stuck on something, it's a great time for me to take my eyes off of the computer and just like clear my mind outside, walk it out, and maybe come up with a good idea that might solve the issue that I'm facing currently. And right after that, I keep going with my code and debugging. During this process, apparently something went wrong and my code wasn't passing my, my test cases that I wanted, to, wanted it to pass. And so I had to figure out what's going on. And after a few hours of debugging, I finally figured it out. There were so many changes that were going on at the same time, hence why it was such a big problem and, and a tough one to, to merge into the rest of the code. I usually wrap up my work around 5 p.m. There are days that I need to work late to make sure we are on track and on schedule. I, after work, I usually have dinner. I'm also a online master's in computer science student at Georgia Tech. Thus, my evenings are spent doing homework or studying for exams. In general, that is what my day looks like. And obviously some days are different than others. One thing that I didn't mention in this video was documentation. It's pretty common for software engineers that there's some documentation, whether it's an API documentation or it's some architecture documentation or design documentation. There's some documentation you gotta write for your software to uh, help others uh, understand it better and so on. So there is definitely writing some documentation. So do not forget that. That is a very important part. Even though I didn't do that today, I might be doing that tomorrow or a day after that. I know that the changes that I made for the software, uh, they have to be reflected in a documentation and you need to discuss that there. Thank you so much guys for checking out this video. I truly, truly appreciate it. Make sure you hit the like button, consider subscribing. And if you wanna support this YouTube channel, you can do that by using the link down in the description below to get your free two stocks when you sign up for Rebull account. Other than that, keep up the good work and I'll see you next time.